Welcome to a very, very hot Beijing and the Chinese Motor Show 2016. Over the next few minutes, we're going to show you very quickly some of the stars of the show. China is absolutely crazy for SUVs, and this is Volkswagen's biggest, the T Prime concept. It actually previews a new Touareg, and is even bigger than that car because, of course, the Tiguan has grown as well. There's going to be an XL version of that. Inside, there's a curved screen, and we'd expect to see a new Touareg sometime next year. Porsche chose China to show off its new Cayman, but it's no ordinary Cayman, it's now a 718 Cayman and it's turbocharged. <laughs> two engines, one with 296 brake horsepower, the other with 345. Not only improved performance, but as is crucial these days, the new 718 Cayman is much more emissions efficient too. Not to be outdone on the sports car front, Audi showed the new TT RS in Beijing. Now this car is an Audi R8 in terms of performance, but probably around half the price. You're talking about 0-62 in 3.7 seconds and 174 miles per hour flat out. Another SUV and another important SUV for a resurgent Renault. This is the Colios, much, much better than the Colios of old. It's based on the Nissan X-Trail in the same way that the smaller Kajar is based on the Nissan Qashqai. And it's really rather plush. Only a five-seater unlike the X-Trail, for now at least. But it's really nice inside with one of those very trendy portrait screens. Another familiar name at the Beijing Motor Show was the Citroen C6. This is very different to the quirky car of old, a more conventional saloon car. China loves its saloon cars. This one's actually bigger than a 5 Series, a plush digital instrument screen, but not coming to Europe. I've got DS Envy. You see, in Europe we get the slightly quirky and not really that good DS4. This is what they get in China. A much plusher car that's got a whiff of BMW 1 Series about it. I think this car would actually go down a treat in Europe, but sadly it's not to be. Another car we won't be seeing in Europe is this, the Jaguar XFL long wheelbase. 90% of these sorts of cars are long wheelbase and this one is 140mm longer than the existing car with some clever tech inside too. And finally, not to be outdone, Mercedes launched a long wheelbase version of its E-Class 2 with an extra 140mm in length, ideal for sitting in the back and playing with your iPhone. 